history taking in a patient with edema in a neonate um, is specific uh, points that need to be uh, stressed and we're going to talk about those points. So history taking in a neonate with edema, uh, we start with pregnancy. In pregnancy, we want to ask if the of the maternal age, okay, because we know that um, some congenital heart problems can okay with advanced maternal age. Uh, we also want to ask of previous histories of miscarriage in the mom. We know that uh, recess incompatibility and other things can cause um, her drops fetalis and edema. Then we want to ask of the history of syphilis and HIV. This can cause a uh, congenital nephrotic syndrome. Uh, you also want to ask of antenatal ultrasound scan. Then antenatal ultrasound scan uh, can show us oligohydromnus, which is um, uh, okay, can, can okay with the renal uh, problems or hydrops fetalis, which we said is this uh, edema that can okay in, in pregnancy. In delivery, we want to know the sex of the baby. If the baby is a boy, uh, they are prone to posterior urethral. They may be having posterior urethral falls, so we need to check for that. The birth weight, we know that low birth weight is associated with um, congenital infection, that is, torches. And torches infections usually cause edema by causing congenital nephrotic syndrome. And uh, the other issue with birth weight is that um, also other congenital dysmorphism uh, can present with low birth weight. And uh, this congenital dysmorphism may be associated with uh, congenital heart disease. Then we also want to ask about the ABGA score at birth and if, with this asphyxia. Uh, this usually shows that uh, a patient is prone to edema because of increased capillary permeability. Then also ask of bed trauma, which can cause uh, edema maybe on the head or, 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 or of one side of the body. Um, of course, we talk of... Uh, so delayed cord clamping uh, means that we are allowing uh, for, 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 for blood to flow from the placenta to the baby. So delayed cord clamping can increase the volume of blood of, for, the, for, the, for the baby. And this can actually, uh, with increased volume, we know that there will be increased hydrocirculation. This can actually cause uh, edema. So we want to see what, how, if maybe sometimes the patients can deliver from at home um, before they reach the hospital. And if they delay in cord clamping, there can be significant uh, uh, transfusion from placenta to the baby, which can predispose to, to edema. Then prolonged bleeding from the umbilical cord, uh, this is just to check for liver disease, because we know that uh, in liver disease, there is also bleeding diathesis. And in neonatal period, this manifests usually with uh, prolonged bleeding from the umbilical cord stamp. History. Um, for, for baby with edema, we want to ask of the hoarseness of the voice. This is to check for hypothyroidism. Then shortness of breath or difficulties in breathing. Uh, this is just to check for heart disease. Uh, also difficulties with breastfeeding is to check for heart disease. And jaundice, this is to check for liver disease. Uh, like I say, we know that uh, uh, if in liver disease, there will be decreased production of albumin and this causes edema. And also jaundice can okay with uh, recess incompatibility or ABO incompatibility and, and this, this this can cause uh, high drops, fetalis and anemia with anemia also any cause of anemia can cause uh, edema and so jaundice is important to ask if you find a patient that is a neonate that is edema okay to just roll those other those causes um, 